Let's take a look at how you work with text in Motif. Here's a great picture of everyone that came to Valerie's fifth birthday party. They thought it would be nice to include a message to Valerie on the final page of the book. I've got that message text on my clipboard. But first, let's create a new text box for it by clicking the new text box icon here. Okay, as you can see, a text box has been created and the text palette is now showing and the image above the text box was resized to make room for it. So let's paste in our text now. There it is. I'm going to deselect it. Looks like we need more room for it. So I'm going to grab this handle between the image and the text box and drag it up a couple notches. There we go. So let's select all the text again. And now let's center it using these alignment buttons here. I'm going to click the center button to center align it there. Looks great. Uh, let's make it bigger too. So let's use the font size menu to set it to 18 point. All right, there we go. All right, I think now I'd like to work with this subhead here and make it match what's on the cover, which was the font Dido. So I'm going to go to the font face menu here and type in DID, and you see it selects Dido. I'll hit return to select it. And now I want to make it bold, so I'm going to choose bold from the font weight menu. And then let's make it bigger. How about 36 point? There we go. Okay, looking good. Feels like it could use some color though, given how bright and pink this book is. So let's select the box again, select just this subhead text, and now we can use the color menu here. And I could pick this default pink here, which is part of the theme, but I think I want something brighter. So I'm going to go to custom color here, and then choose this pink, which I had previously saved into this Mac OS color palette. So let's pick that pink there. Looks great. Close that picker. Um, and there you have it. I think the last thing I'd like to do is just create a little bit of space above this text block, um, which I can do by holding down the option key while I drag this handle, and that will uh, close up the picture box while leaving the text box where it is. So let's just drag that up one notch, and now that text is nice and vertically centered. Let's see if we select the image a little, we could just move it. Yeah, there we go, it looks good. Okay, one final thing to show you about working with text is that when you have the text box selected, there's a move tool here. So if you wanted to move the text around on the page or even to a different page, you could do that. But I like it where it was, so I'm going to select the move tool again and simply put it back where it was. And then I'm going to drag that option handle back down to center it again. And there we are. Looks great. And that is how you work with text, magically, in Motif. We hope you enjoyed this introduction to Motif. For more tutorial videos, help, and support, visit us at www.motifphotos.com support.